Tesla gets seat on peak body for Australia's automotive industry. The FCAI, the peak body representing Australia's automotive industry, has appointed a new chairperson and two new board members. Following its annual general meeting, AGM, on May 24, Vinesh Bindi, managing director, Mazda Australia replaces Matthew Calicor, president and CEO of Toyota Australia, who is now FCAI deputy chairperson. Sean Westcott, president and CEO, Mitsubishi Motors Australia Limited, shares the deputy chairperson role. Carolyn McMahon, Honda Australia, is the new treasurer. As John Kett Chief Operating Officer, Hyundai Motor Company Australia. Adam Patterson Managing Director, Nissan Motor Company Australia. Tony Hinton General Manager, Honda Motorcycle Power Equipment Australia. Colin Christie Managing Director, Inchcape Australia. And Stephen Connor Managing Director, Volvo Car Australia all return to the Board of Directors. Two new members. Tom Drew Country Manager, Tesla Australia New Zealand. And Andrew Burkich President CEO, Ford Australia New Zealand, also joined the board. FCAI Chief Executive Tony Weber remarked that the diverse range of directors from different areas of the marketplace will offer great insights into the future of the Australian automotive industry. Tesla's influence in the Australian market is growing as they lead the electric vehicle field and create competition for traditional combustion engine models. With its newfound seat on the peak body, Tesla will now be in a position to influence decisions that will have a positive impact on the promotion of electromobility. Source. Reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. Tesla Giga Texas starts production of Model Y with HW4. Tesla Giga Texas has become a center of manufacturing innovation. Starting production of the Model Y cars with a distinctive red HW4 cameras being located in U.S. delivery lots. The information acquired by Tesla Info via Tesla North shows that the car has been manufactured in Giga Texas and is heading to California. Apart from this, Tesla has also started producing the Model S and Model X with the new hardware 4. In anticipation that the updated Model 3 will be produced with the same hardware in the third quarter of 2023. Source. Reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. Abandoned Tesla Roadster Trio Auction Extended. Gruber Motors has extended the bidding for a trio of abandoned Tesla Roadsters until June 2. Initially, details regarding the three vehicles remained scarce, though recent discoveries show that they were bought by a Chinese automotive group. Before being found in a shipping container in China with no miles on the odometer, bidding for the cars has exceeded half a million dollars, but the most recent offer has been received at $800,000. It has been established that there was a fourth vehicle included in the package, but it appears to have been disassembled. The sum of $800,000 is relatively low given that the last one built was sold for roughly $1.5 million. The odd Tesla Roadster is a cornerstone of the electric car company's legacy and its quarter-million-dollar price tag in 2008 made it exclusive to the rich and famous. Its production almost bankrupted Tesla and without the support of investors, the company would not have been able to remain afloat. Nowadays, the automotive manufacturer is known as the most valuable on earth and has the odd Roadster to thank for this. Source Reposted and summarized from Joey Klender at Teslarati. Texas Model 3 customers will get one year of free overnight charging. Tesla announced that customers in Texas who order and pick up a new Model 3 between May 26, 2023 and June 30, 2023, who qualify and enroll in the upcoming Tesla Electric Home Charging Plan for Tesla vehicles will be eligible for a year of free, overnight vehicle charging at home. 
Existing Tesla Electric customers and Powerwall owners are not eligible for this offer at this time. Tesla Electric is a retail electricity provider that seeks to lower the cost of vehicle ownership by enabling customers to save on their electricity bills. The Tesla Electric Home Charging Plan offers customers the opportunity to charge their vehicle overnight at home for a fee of $30 US per month. $1 per day billed monthly. While rates and terms are subject to change, for eligible customers, Tesla Electric will waive the vehicle charging fee for a year for their new Model 3. Source. Reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. Non-Tesla supercharging is coming to Canada this year. The Government of Canada has announced that Tesla is going to open up part of its supercharging network for non-Tesla vehicles in 2023. According to the press release, these stations between Sudbury and Ottawa are set to be opened later this year. In this collaboration, Tesla has promised to make a portion of its Canadian supercharger network available for non-Tesla electric vehicles, wherever site hosts allow. These open chargers will be distributed all around Canada and will include the Trans-Canada Highway from Ottawa to Calgary. By the end of 2025, 750 charging connectors will be made available to non-Tesla EV drivers, with up to 350 offering up to 250 kilowatts of power. However, an exact number of stations was not given. Tesla remains quiet about the project, but it is positive news for those intending to use the Tesla supercharging network for non-Tesla electric vehicles in Canada. The United States, Australia, China, and Europe have all already launched non-Tesla supercharger pilots, with Europe having since expanded to 15 markets. To handle various EVs, these new V4 stations are equipped with a longer cable than those in Europe. For its native compatibility with the CCS2 standard, while Australia and mainland China have the local GBT standard. In Canada and the United States, the Magic Dock built in CCS1 adapter is used, while Ford yesterday announced a major shift to Tesla's NACS standard in the US, effective 2025. The Government of Canada has announced that Tesla is going to open up part of its supercharging network for non-Tesla vehicles in 2023. This will allow non-Tesla EV drivers across Canada access to various charging connectors, of which at least up to 350 will be 250 kilowatts kW of power. Later this year, trials will be piloted for EV drivers traveling between Sudbury and Ottawa. The program is set to expand gradually and include the Trans-Canada Highway from Ottawa to Calgary. Tesla remains tight-lipped about the project, but it is still good news for those who wish to use the Tesla supercharging network for non-Tesla electric vehicles in Canada. In the United States, a pilot project is currently underway, and the same has been launched in 15 European Americas, Australia, and mainland China. To handle various EVs, these new V4 stations are equipped with a longer cable than those in Europe. For its native compatibility with the CCS2 standard, while Australia and mainland China have the local GBT standard. In Canada and the United States, the Magic Dock built in CCS1 adapter is used, while Ford yesterday announced a major shift to Tesla's NACS standard in the US, effective 2025. With these changes, the Magic Dock will no longer be necessary for those newer vehicles. Ford's move along with the general opening of the Tesla supercharging network, could potentially lead to an increase in other brands in North America. In the future, Tesla is planning to upgrade from V3 to V4 supercharging stalls worldwide, with installations in Europe already in progress. The V4 superchargers are believed to be reaching the US and will offer a 350 kilowatts power boost. Source Reposted and summarized from Mark Kane at Inside EVS. Tesla pushes customers to buy a Model 3 with new charging incentive. 
Tesla is encouraging prospective customers in Texas to buy a new Model 3 prior to the end of the Q2 period with an enticement of free home charging for a 12-month span. This usual end-of-quarter incentive is a shift from traditional norms. Tesla Electric, the vehicle maker's power sales program launched in December 2022, helps users implement solar energy generation for their households and sell electricity back to the grid for credits or money. The company described how Tesla Electric allows Powerwall storage to increase renewable electricity into the grid. Applicants must pick up a new Model 3 by June 30 and subscribe to the Tesla Electric Home Charging Plan in order to qualify for the charging offer. The Model 3 is Tesla's runner-up in terms of popularity, preceded in sales by the Model Y, the best-selling car of Q1. Source. Reposted and summarized from Joey Clender at Teslarati.